Hey guys, Ryzen here. And Liz. And welcome to the Patriots make no goddamn sense to me. So, you know, they lose to the Texans who are not good, I guess. I, they're not terrible, but they're not, they're not very good. Beat the Cardinals who are pretty good. I don't know. Team makes no sense. Patriots win 20 to 17 in a very strange game. I think a poorly officiated game. Very poorly officiated <laughs> game. Uh, very, very strange. There were really two calls. I mean, obviously the blindside block call, but there was also this weird dual pass interference call on Gilmore Hopkins. Uh, in typically in those kinds of situations, you should let. The, the play just happened because they're interfering with each other. Yeah. I've never seen a play where they call offensive PI and defensive PI on the same players. Yeah. Uh, or on the same two guys that were matched up. Whatever. That's weird. <laughs> um, there was also a weird helmet to helmet call late game as well, but I think that was more makeup for the ridiculous blindside block call. So this game started off bad. Yeah, there's the interception that Cam threw. I think it was off of a tip. Yeah. No, it was off of a blitz. It, the ball got tipped coming out of his hand. Yeah. That one's more on the line than Cam. Uh, the second one is... It's all on him. Not, not. Uh, the Cardinals respond with a touchdown. Of course. Of course. They were on like the 20, so... Uh, Kenyon Drake, to, uh, left guard for one yard. Uh, Kenyon Drake had an okay game. Uh, he did have a bad, bad end of the first half, but I thought he was okay other than that. I mean, the, the pitches have gotten better against the run, but... It's not too bad. Uh, Patriots punt because, of course, they do. Uh, and then the Cardinals get a field goal. So this game looked really bad early on. Uh, it was 10 0, which, you know, with the way the Patriots like to play, run heavy, uh, they're not designed to play from behind. They, they, they're just not. Uh, they did it this time. Uh, somehow. On, somehow, but they, it's, they're just not designed for it. Uh, second quarter, both teams trade punts. And then we get, I think, really where the, the game turned. Uh, we get the final drive here. Um, the end of the second quarter. The second quarter. Um, the the Cardinals move down the field. They actually get a big 17-yard pass. That was to uh, Arnold. Arnold was pretty good in this game. The tight ends were, were pretty solid for for um, the Cardinals as well. Uh, let's see. There's the 13-yard pass to Hopkins. Hopkins was pretty good. He wasn't his usual, you know, 100 plus yard self, but but he was pretty good. I mean, he's matched up against Gilmore, so there's only so much he can do. Yep. But it was a solid matchup all night. Uh, but anyway, they get to the goal line. Uh, they get to a fourth and, well, we'll do the whole goal line, I guess. There's a two yard run on first and goal. Uh, gets down to the eight yard. And then there's an incomplete pass. Then there's a seven yard pass. Um, they actually ruled it a touchdown initially. It was to Johnson. Uh, however, he was short. He was very, very close. Uh, it's like on like the inch yard line. I mean, they moved it well within the one. Mm -hmm. And they overturned it. And the 10 second runoff, of course, because it's uh, end of the half, basically. So, and then, uh, such a weird rule, the 10 second runoff. Mm -hmm. When the replay, when the booth is reviewing things in two minutes. And, but anyway, uh, they hand the ball to Drake, and he stopped, and it looks like a good call. Uh, uh, Drake gets turned uh, to the left, and he stopped him. And there's nothing to see on the replay. You can't see where the ball is or anything, so no. I think it's a good call. Uh, that changed the momentum, because, uh, you know, the the Cardinals get the ball, they punt. Uh, is this the bullshit play? Punt. The interception, yes. Yes. So Gunnar Oshesky gets an 82-yard punt return. It's a beautiful punt return. Um, perfectly blocked. He just needs one more block. Uh, uh, I forget who they flagged. They flagged it was Jeffries. Uh, Jeffries. Jeffries uh, saw that Gunnar was getting caught up on, so he stopped, braced himself, made a perfectly legal block from the front, and they threw a flag on. As the defender is literally lowering his shoulder to take Simmons down. He's going like this. And so Simmons stopped and then moved his shoulder up to counteract the um, the Cardinal who was doing the same thing. 
They called that a blind side block. They now, both could see each other. Look. First of all, the rule is stupid. The rule that they're actually citing is that you can't move towards the end zone and then move back. But that's not even what happened <laughs> on no, the play. It's like, not. Simmons stopped. He literally stopped and stood there. So I and then did the block. Perfectly legal block with your shoulder. That's what you're taught to do. Right. Um and they called that a blindside block. Now, for one, these are eyes. <laughs> they see in front of you. Yeah. By definition, NFL, you <laughs> cannot, a blindside is not in front of you. It's <laughs> This is why there are things called mirrors when you drive a car. Right. Because your back is a blindside. So you, can't so you see use it. the mirrors. <laughs> and that's also why you have to use the mirror and then look back because it's a tiny blindside. If you're, it, unless you have perfectly designed mirrors. Which no one does. And perfectly aligned. So. Maybe they need mirrors in NFL stadiums. I think what needs to happen, the NFL, they need, the officials need to be given the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. <laughs> I guess. Because they obviously need to look up what a blind side is. That was like the worst call this whole season. If you're going to have a rule that says you can't move towards the end zone and then come back for a block, okay, fine. But by definition, that is not a blind side. And that's also it's not block. even it's also not even what happened. It's, again, a, it's a legal block. He stood there. So In the end it didn't matter. It doesn't matter, but it's a bad call. It, it almost decided this game. And it's bad when the commentators are like, your call doesn't make any sense to us. Yeah, and the NFL and, guy tried bullshit and into like I think it's what, Perdino? Yeah. Gave a bullshit explanation <laughs> about it. Like, well, you know, you can't move towards the end zone and then move back. And, know, and then you the watch the replay. Like, but he just stood there. What do you mean? He didn't move. What do you mean? So it is bad call. Very bad call. The officiating was bad in this game in general. Um, probably the worst call I've seen all year. Oh, yeah, definitely <laughs> this season. And it also took away Gunnar Oseski's first career touchdown. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. I think he got a punt return, a, like, a, like a recovery in an end zone. Yeah. But it would have been his, his first, first punt career return. punt return touchdown. Right. Um, so, stupid. Speaking uh, of punts, Bailey had a great game. He had a great game. He had one in the, for a touchback, but he did have one that backspinned on the one, recovered at the two. Very good. A solid game. Anytime you do one of those, good game. Yeah. Special teams as a whole was very good today. Special teams saved their ass. Uh, anyway, the Patriots only get a field goal because of bullshit. Uh, Murray gets tipped. And then uh, he's picked off. Who is he picked off by? I don't remember. Uh, Phillips. Butler uh, tipped it, I believe. Uh, Butler had a fantastic game. He was the best player on defense today. Two sacks, the tip, led, led to the pick. It was a great game. And then they get a good uh, touchdown run by James White. Uh, good play call. Uh, it's on the one. Uh, Cam faked the sneak with his uh, legs apart like he was going to, you know. It was a split stance. Uh, yep. Fake the, fake the sneak, and then... Uh, I don't know if that's what you call it in football, but it's a split stance. Yeah, it's a split stance. And hands it to White for the outside run, goes to the pylon, touchdown, good call. Yeah, great something, call. something seemed off when he did that, and then we knew. Uh, then the teams trade punts. Newton threw an interception in there at some point. Yep, uh, Cardinals get a touchdown. They get the Kenyon Drake get another touchdown. He had two touchdowns in this game, which is pretty good. Uh, fourth quarter, Newton throws his bad pick. Oh, my God. Oh, um, Okay, so he's throwing a curl to, to Bird, and there were two problems. Number one, the throw was late. Number two, it was inside when it needed to be outside. Luckily, it wasn't a pick six. Uh, and luckily, the defense stepped up. They didn't get a three and out, but they did. They gave up one first down and then stopped them. And then there was a 45-yard kick. It was missed. So there's about, there's about two minutes left now. It was like a minute and a half. Uh, yep. So then we get the final drive for the Patriots. Uh, starts with a terrible screen to White. An awful, awful screen. It was a bad throw to begin with, but it was red anyway. And then we get Newton gets, I believe, sacked. Yep. Uh, but then he gets a great run out of nowhere. Uh, he gets a helmet to helmet call against him. He's already passed the first down marker anyway. But I didn't like the call that much, but frankly, it's a makeup for the blindside block, okay? And frankly, if you're the Arizona Cardinals, Make the make the forty five yard field goal. Sorry, I mean he he could have made it. You had plenty of opportunities, but I didn't really like the call. It's technically helmet to helmet, but it was like barely. It wasn't really a hard hit, um, but they flagged it. They moved it up to like the forty five, about midfield, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit past I think. And the Patriots get a couple more plays. Uh, 
to get up another five, six yards. Then they line up for a, they spike the ball in third down, line up for a 50 yard field goal exactly, right down the middle. Folk is gold. Folk is automatic this year, so uh, I'm very happy that they decided to go with Nick Folk after he struggled last year because he's been money all year. Yeah, he's been very good. One of the best players on the team. So, you know. And he's mattered a lot, so. Yeah, I mean, he has won now two games for them. Yeah. He's made almost every kick all year. I think he's missed like one extra he's, point. He's money under 50. He is money under 50, and he's pretty damn accurate over 50 right now. So, <laughs> so the Patriots' wild card chances are so somewhat, alive. somewhat saved. And they went out, they go 10 and 6, they got shot. Maybe 9 and 7, but I mean, either way, you know. This is not a terrible year. There's been some ups and downs. Um, they win the weird the games that they yeah, aren't I know. supposed to win. Um, Newton stats were bad in this game. He's like 9 of 18, I think 86 yards, two picks. He was bad. Yeah. Uh, Murray wasn't that great either. He only had about 170 yards. He was better than Newton, but... For sure. But uh, to be fair to Murray, it's not his fault. He's dealing with just the, uh, I think, shoulder injury, and it showed he could barely run. Uh, they're scared to re-aggravate it. Yeah. Yeah, a mediocre game. Um, how did Hopkins do? Just curious. He caught a bunch of passes. He did caught some passes. No touchdowns, but he caught passes. No, he did not catch a touchdown today. Just curious. Uh, Hopkins, 55 yards, 5 catches. That's not terrible. Gilmore did okay on him. Uh, Gilmore did have a bad holding call. I mean, Dude, you can't grab Jersey. Come on. It was I, the, yeah. I didn't see the Jason McCourty call that they had at the, on the same drive. I don't know. I don't. I missed that one. They didn't, so. I don't think they even. They even showed it. So I didn't see it either. I don't know if that was a good call or not. The the, the Gilmore one was a good call. You can't grab Jersey. They're gonna call call it every time. Uh, Damian Harris, fourteen carries, forty seven yards, and mediocre game for him. Um, yeah. I mean, best players today were Gunnar Osiski because of the punt return. Uh, Dante Moncrief because of a fantastic kick return. I know. Kudos. Uh, I hate. I can't stand Dante Moncrief, but credit where credit is due. He, he got him all the way to like the 45. I think it was their first touchdown drive. They needed that because mm -hmm. that was when they were down 10-0. Um, and uh, Adam Butler and uh, the goal line stand really really turned this game around. Yeah, I think so. And uh, Nick Falk, you know, get the game ball, win the game. Yep, so next weekend they travel to L.A. for a week. Yep. For a Sunday and a Thursday game. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Assuming that, that there are contact sports allowed in L.A., considering what happened to San Francisco. Yeah, who knows? Who knows at this point? Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, good game. Good game to watch. Uh, happy for the win. You take the W's where you can get it. Yep. They're not going to be pretty this year. No, <laughs> it but is what it is. it's another win. So. Another win. We'll take it. 2017 final score. We'll see you next time.